Okay, Jamie, well, maybe you could just start off in as short time as possible and just sum up um, exactly what Aimpoint is all about. Uh, Aimpoint is being able to predict the break of any putt on any green on any golf course uh, using a chart and using field to do so. We're, we're looking to stop people from green guessing, guessing what the ball's going to do on a green. What we do know is that uh, a good player can take up to 20 years to get good at predicting a break on a green. Uh, and we can shorten that cycle. Within, within a couple of months, we can get somebody up to an elite level of green reading. So, how different is one set of greens on one golf course and one set of greens on another, and how do they both work with Aimpoint? The, the, the main difference is you get different slopes, you get different speeds, but the important difference, or the important similarity, is gravity is always there. The slope won't change whilst you're there, and the speed of the green won't change whilst you're there. Uh, creeks and volcanoes don't affect break at all, and the only time grain affects it is when you're putting into the grain, it will slow the ball down and down the grain the ball will roll for more, so it will, just, it will appear faster. Okay. And in your initial um, three hour session, can you just uh, outline what a club golfer could hope to achieve um, having come on to other sessions? Yeah, they're going to learn how to predict the break of any part on the green. Uh, in the first session, certainly from inside 20 feet, uh, we supply them with an aim chart, which is a 360 degree map of the hole. What they're going to do is find their location, find their distance from the hole, and then they start to predict break. We unlock a few secrets to the green as well, like zero lines, teaching people how to know how the ball's going to behave, and we try and cover crowns and sands. And it sounds very scientific, so um, do you need a degree in physics to understand that? Definitely not, you just, you just need to be able to count, right, and some time to practice. Okay. Um, when people come and do the session, what do they come away with that um, perhaps surprises them that, that maybe they haven't realised about footing? I think the biggest thing for me is people realise how predictive it is. There is no voodoo to reading a green. Uh, people that have become good at it don't just develop a knack. They actually get an insight or they get good at guessing. So uh, I've seen people guessing for a long time now and I think we're starting to reverse that trend. Uh, and the, the big thing is I've seen a non-golfer learn to read a green as well as a single figure player. So it's just not ability related? Not at all, no. no. And it, is it more interesting watching somebody putting on a green they know very well or watching somebody come onto a green that they've never seen before? It's, well, we, there's two things about that. We could put, if someone knows the green, they, they've got to already roughly know where they should, should be aiming. Uh, it's more fun to see someone who thinks they're a bad putter start using the chart, start predicting the break and start holding putts. Uh, we've seen that today, we've, we have seen people with poor actions learn to use a chart and we've seen a lot of balls going. Okay. And if you could outline a couple of putting myths for us or things that people don't understand about putting and find out that you know you tell them. Uh, no one's naturally good at aiming the putter, everyone has to learn to aim the putter. Uh, I think you're always going to get a certain amount of skid on the ball, so people trying to hit up and reduce skid is a myth for me, certainly. It's just about managing those factors. Uh, what, if, if your path is poor and your aim is poor, then you're going to have to do something wrong to get the putter face back aiming at the target. Yeah. And, uh, and just two things, if you could elaborate on, that, that struck me from doing the session today. One is that the faster the green is, the more the putt will break. Definitely. And why is that? Uh, because gravity is going to have more effect on it. The ball will roll, roll for longer and there's less friction. So the faster the green, the ball rolls longer, gravity can work on it harder. Okay, and similarly, a uh, related fact, um, if you're putting from above the hole, um, downhill putts will break more than uphill putts. Yep, same reason. Okay, Back to gravity. A, and that's a fact. Yep, gravity and the ball's going with the slow, and that's a fact, yeah. And I think one of the best quotes I've heard is, uh, physics trumps guessing. And that's, yeah. a, that's a statement I heard out in Finland. It is physics, you don't need to guess anymore, you just need to know how to f find out where you are on the green. And I know you've been working with um, a few pros from various tours, can you just give us a few names? Yep, people, uh, people at the moment are doing very well, Becky Brewerton, Ben Barra, uh, Justin Rose, Wilhelm, Sh Wilhelm Schaumann, Susan Pettersen and Stacey Lewis who's won in the States. Okay, and you're going to spend uh, the summer uh, spending quite a lot of time on the tour, uh, hopefully speak to some more. Absolutely, yeah, we've, we've got a, a, a backlog of people wanting to start work with us and build up to the Open is very busy and we're looking forward to, to really getting some key big names working. I think, and probably the biggest name we haven't mentioned was Paul Drake Harrington. And if you think back to the Ryder Cup, where the day that Ross Fisher putted the best, mm. Paul Drake Harrington was reading his putts for him and the day after Paul Drake was playing in a different group and he putted poorly again. Uh, Paul Drake learned nearly three years ago. Right. He's probably the most famous. And Henrik Stenson of course.
Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Dan.